Chatelaine Magazine edition of City Line today. The Beauty 100 is the edition so many people look forward to each year. It's the S September edition this year, but also tacos, people. Claire Tanzi, come on in here. We got food on the flip side. Let me tell you, the thing that I love about tacos, they are so simple. They taste Tick. so good. Tick. They are so easy. Tick. Right? What? And you can really make it fancy. Like, we're going to make three different kinds. Oh, yeah. But only one filling. Is it true? Well, it's sort of a mix and match. The, okay. the whole thing about a taco buffet is you can make one filling and then mix it up with your toppings. Love that. Or you can have multiple fillings and then keep it kind of simple. Yeah. And I also think you can also just do one. It's a weeknight. What the heck? Yeah. Just do one taco. Everybody loves it. Make it easy. You can change the shells. You can have a lot exactly. of fun and variety. And spice it up. Okay, so what we're doing here is just making our own do-it-yourself taco seasoning. So you know you okay. can go to the store, you can buy a little packet. It's got, it's called, says taco seasoning. Mm -hmm. Sodium in that is through the, the roof. Make it your own, as you probably have most of these things in your pantry already. Yeah. Cornstarch, all the spices, some cumin, some garlic. Gonna add a little special something, which is ch uh, chipotle. Oh, I love that And stuff. so this is the smoky stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is what's gonna give it the real, um, you know, 2014. 2014? 2014. 2014. 2014. Yeah, good flavor. Still there. So just mix um, all those. I can't get enough of that. Oh, I know, me too, the smoky. So you just mix all that together. Okay. And if you do all the, you follow the, the recipe, as I always uh, encourage. <laughs> yes. Suggest <laughs> it makes about a quarter cup, so you can just put that either in a little mason jar or keep it in the pantry, or you can double it up. And if you're gonna have tacos a lot, all right, okay, so, so you always have it on the go, exactly. And it's really easy now, um, it's just a lot healthier, and you can add a lot of spice to that if you want. Yeah, you whatever are you like, you go with drift. your flavor. So, this is the uh, first taco filling we're gonna do it's a ground beef filling, and this is the one which we lovingly called Trashy Beef Tacos <laughs> in the test kitchen. Uh, in the end, I believe it is called Saucy Beef okay, Tacos because saucy. it's just like these are the tacos we grew up on, you know, just a nice little bit of beef, mm -hmm. nice little big mixture of this. You see the white stuff I put in there is cornstarch? I was gonna ask you that. Yeah, and then I yeah. thought, oh, maybe it's supposed to be obvious, but I didn't know. No, no, it's all right. It's cornstarch. The, the, Never an obvious, okay. never obvious. A little bit of sugar. Come on, sugar. Oh, it's a human day today. The sugar is like, no, you do not need sugar. Yes, you do. Is the cornstarch to thicken it up a exactly. little bit? Exactly. So the cornstarch is what's going to make the sauce actually cling to the beef. Okay. That's just tomato paste. So here's the water, and that goes in. Good. This all just literally cooks together. We're going to squeeze in some lime, and yeah. then you're going to put it in your taco. Perfect. And no that ketchup. Is so easy. No ketchup in there. No. I mean, listen. I, you know, I adore my ketchup. Oof. Um, but we're going to we're going to use tomato paste today That's instead. That's better. Yeah. Okay. That's so better. you stir that, okay. and I'm going to move on. Yeah. This is another favorite. Breakfast for dinner. Oh, I love breakfast yes, for dinner. It's I just know. easy. I know. And in the taco world, it's just a no-brainer, right? Yeah. Huevos Rancheros, you mm -hmm. see them on all your brunch menus. And so what we're going to do is create a nice, really simple refried bean mix. Again, nice. you can go to the store and buy it out of a can. The sodium is through the roof on that. And we're always watching our sodium. Yeah. This is literally a can of black beans, a little bit of cumin and garlic, a little bit of oil. Cook it up till it's hot and mash it with your potato masher. So good for you. Oh my gosh. You can use black beans in so many different recipes. But they're Absolutely, awesome for and you're you. gonna love this. And if it gets really thick, you can just add a bit of water, yeah. and then you just spread it on your taco shell. And I think I'm gonna fry one egg just because I love frying an egg on camera. That's yeah. Why not? It's fun, I know, right? right? Do you have a special frying egg uh, system? Oh yes. Well, I'm so glad works you asked. Out. Yeah, good. So Show if you're us. if you're a fan of a fried egg, uh, first of all, this is this was my instruction to myself: lower your expectations. All right. The fried egg isn't always going to look like it does no. in the commercial. You okay. know what's gonna happen? The white it's gonna kind of spread out, mm. but I can tell you, you can rebuild. So let me rebuild with, um, okay, amount of oil, no problem. Nice hot pan, nonstick. Well, you got a little bit in there. Don't there's you? a little bit of oil because I did That's that egg enough. earlier. Now, here's the thing: you want to get your egg really, really close to yeah. the pan, really close, and gently and just tenderly. Just very gently and tenderly, just like you're wiping a baby's bum. <laughs> no, <laughs> just like you're nuzzling into. I don't know. A Whatever it is, kitchen. you do gently and know. tenderly. So That's you see, listen. I'm a at professional all. chef, and look at what happened. See, it goes sideways. I know. Now, and I, you know, it doesn't matter. It's so a little okay. bit of salt and pepper here. All right. Um, I hope we're not running out of town because I feel this is important. No, I think we're okay. You got three minutes. Okay, okay look, good. it's tons of time. Now, yeah. here's what you do if you want to make, if you want to rebuild. You just take that little corner once it's cooked and yeah. flop it up. Okay, I see? do that. Yeah. I do the Claire Tansy at home. Oh, good. That's what I'm hoping because you yeah. know, you know, I'm always on your shoulder cooking with you. I know you are. I know. I kind of like it. Now, see, now that looks perfect. Right, and because I don't want to flip that over, because whenever I flip the yolk cracks, things go wrong. You put the lid on it. Oh, 
Oh, see, I don't do that. And so that creates a little mini oven, yeah. and the heat circulates, and it's going to cook the top of the yolk a little bit without having to flip it. I'm happy you did that. Well, I'm very happy I did it as well. I learned a little something on that. Nice stirring, by the way. Thank you. It's all perfectly stirred. I'm ready to eat this, baby. Actually. I know. This is a spoonful. This is good. Forget it. Uh, let's just talk through taco shells just for a quick mo, mm -hmm. because they are as diverse as your imagination. Mm -hmm. Obviously, everybody's favorite, uh, crunchy. Yeah. Now, these days you can get 100% corn tortillas in the grocery store. They're usually either in the frozen section or in the refrigerator. Yep. They are also so dead easy to make. If you have a piece of saran wrap and uh, a rolling pin, you can right. make them. We've got those recipes for you. In case you feel like up in your right. game and making your own, Okay. we also have make your own flour tortillas oh, if you nice. feel like it. Again, buy them if you want, but if you feel like up in your game, my Michael makes them all the time. I Does tell you, it, it, changes, it changes things. He's a keeper, that dude. No, no, we keep them. We're going to keep them. Very nice. Flour tortillas. <laughs> and then the other thing you can see now is these are very, very yellow mm -hmm. corn tortillas. Now these are half corn and half wheat. So oh, if you like are that. gluten intolerant, yeah. you want to not have that because there is wheat in there. You want to okay. go with the all 100% corn one. I like that option Look though. At, like That's all nice. These things There's so many options. And you know, are you a hard shell person? Are you a soft shell person? Is I, it like, a hard shell a, day? Is it a soft shell day? Is it a hard day? shell day? Because you know, if it's the hard shell, I mean, don't do it on a date. It's going to be all <laughs> down your top, yeah, right? True. You might want to go with the soft shell. It's just, it depends on the day. The kids like the hard shell, I he find. Is. It's just more fun. See, perfect egg. So now we have brekkie. Yeah. Huevos rancheros. And then if you want to go fish taco, Let's which is go super, fancy. super, super trendy right yeah. now. A little bit of shrimp. These are, there's nothing on these things except a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. Shrimp, a bit of red onion, and then you assemble those uh, in a little, like, I think we've got a little soft corn tortilla down there. Yeah. And when it comes to toppings, a squeeze of lime, a little bit of feta cheese, maybe some mozzarella, and some hot sauce. Very nice. Really simple. And look at that. Three gorgeous tortillas, so three gorgeous tacos. I just like that you use shrimp for that, for your fish taco. Hey, that's something I wouldn't think of. Everybody else is using white fish. Yeah. Shrimp. No, that's good. Yeah. I like that. You're such a rebel. Oh, I know. So I good. Know.